Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with a vlog or I should say this week we are back with a vlog. Um, it is Monday, March 1st. Shout out to uh, Justin Bieber because it's his birthday and I wish him all the well wishes. Hashtag Belieber over here. But I thought it would be fun to do a vlog this week because I am changing it up for my usual a nine to five week. And I actually took this week off for two reasons, honestly. Um, first of all, my birthday is actually March 2nd. So I kind of just wanted to, you know, enjoy the day, enjoy my time. And the second reason is really just to have a mental break, honestly. You know, I am absolutely loving this work from home life, but I have never felt so burnt out before and I just felt like I needed a break and I know that it's only March, but I just needed a break to take some time for myself. I've been focusing on my content creation a lot more, so I'm really excited to work on that this week. I hope you guys are following me on Instagram. If you don't, my handle will be on the screen. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited to have a week off and take you guys through the week with me. I have no idea what we're going to get up to. Obviously, there's not a ton that we can do since um, it is still quarantine times so we'll see what we get up to but i thought it would be fun to vlog share some apartment updates um we are working on furnishing it still it's not done by any means um but i thought it would just be a great week to take you guys along hopefully it's sunny in seattle it is right now and i'm actually going to make myself go on a run um i had a nice relaxing morning i've literally been in bed for two hours at this point and i need to get up and start my day but i have some fun content that i want to shoot for you guys and um, i just need to get my day together so i'm gonna get up i'm gonna go on a run and i will check back with you guys later um, but i'm very excited for this vlog and i hope you guys are too so stay tuned for a fun week it is a little bit later in the day and i have just been shooting some content um and i got some packages delivered so I thought we could take a pause and do a little unboxing together. So I, this is from Amazon, I'm pretty sure. And I got a new phone. So I ordered two phone cases. I do want to get one of the wildflower ones. I just haven't decided yet which one I wanted to get. So for the meantime, I just got some um, little cheapy ones to have and hold me over. Um, I got a clear one and then I got a pink silicone one. You guys know I love the silicone ones. I think I talked about them in one of my monthly favorites videos and i show you guys i had like five colors which is a little bit absurd so not going to go down that path again but um i do really love how the silicone feels and i feel like it's so um protective and just nice and sleek so i got this pink one super cute and then this one is just Clear, so I'll show you guys it's not very exciting but I wanted to have just like a neutral one for this life I guess no particular reason um, wow these are so tightly packaged um, and then here's a clear one so those are gonna be good until I decide and also just to have so love that i will put that on my phone soon and i'm just gonna put this on the ground because i have nowhere else to put it and then this second package is from aritzia you guys um i'm so excited let's see if i can get this open without scissors i think i can this might just be kind of like haha that was a nice clean swoop you guys oh my gosh so I am all about basics this year. You guys heard me say it over and over. I sound like a broken record and I really just want to buy staples and not just like little random things. So I ordered this blazer, which I'm really excited about. And I, what's it called? It's called the Nostalgia, Blaz Nostalgia Blazer. And I got it in Heather Charcoal and I decided to get a medium because I wanted it to be really oversized and it was on sale i don't remember what the sale price was but um i did get it because it was on sale so let's see how it fits it's so beautiful i really was going for that like grandpa's oversized blazer look so let's see if the medium paid off 
So yeah, I'll probably cuff the sleeves. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm obsessed. Oh, it's so cute. It's kind of long, but I mean, we are going for that oversized fit. So, wow, I love this. I realized I did not have any heather gray or like charcoal gray blazers. So I thought it was time to add one to the collection. Um, and I did get one other thing, which I just thought was really fun and pretty. And obviously if I could go out and live life, I would wear it, but alas, here we are. Um, it's from Babaton. It's the Lexicon top. I got it in a small and it's just this really cute, tank with the little crisscross around the neck wow you guys can't see it against this blazer because it's too dark so let me take this off and we'll just rest it here and then you can see this top how fun yeah this is not doing it justice i'll put a picture on the screen somewhere but so cute can't wait to wear this can't wait to shoot in this and also can't wait to wear it in life so love that um I think for the rest of the day, we're just gonna be hanging out. Luke just got home, he went golfing this morning, and I think we're gonna go out and take some pictures. The lighting is phenomenal right now, so I want to take advantage of that. Um, and then we'll just be hanging out for the rest of the day. Bachelor is tonight, so that'll be interesting. I think it's the Women Tell All, which I don't usually watch, but I feel like this season has been such a train wreck that I kind of just like need to watch it for my enjoyment i guess so yeah gonna watch that and just hang out see where the rest of the day takes us but um i wanted to show you guys what i got and i will talk to you guys later good morning guys it is march 2nd and today is actually my <laughs> birthday um we are currently walking to whole foods um, to get some oat milk and stuff to make dinner tonight. Um, one of the presents that Luke got me was a milk frother, which I have been talking about nonstop for so long. So we finally got one and we need to get some oat milk because I want to start making my own chai lattes. So we're headed to the store to get some oat milk and whatever we find, but that's what's going on. We are back in the kitchen and I'm going to try to make my chai latte with you. Sorry, Luke is stirring his coffee. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing and I'm definitely just going to wing this. So let's give it a go. The store was actually completely out of oat milk or all of the oat milk that I like and this was literally the oat milk, only oat milk that they had. So um, I decided to get it. I've heard good things about it. I'm a little bit worried that it's going to be like too raw, if that makes sense, but we are going to give it a try, so we'll see. Um, and then I did get some creamer too, just to um, sweeten it up a bit. Got some tea bags, and we are just going to go for it. So I think that obviously you have to steep the tea bag first, um, so we'll do that. I don't really know what the ratio is supposed to be, but like I said, guys, trial and error. So, got this. We got our beautiful Smeg water heater in the mail yesterday, and it's so beautiful. Um, so we're just going to, I guess I'll do it like halfway. That seems about right. And then I guess while that's steeping, we'll just, put it over here so i guess i'm gonna do like half a cup of this and the creamer i never tried this kind but again it was the only like vanilla oat milk creamer that they had or sweet one they had this might be too much and the cup might overflow but okay so here's what we got now i'm gonna take the milk frother I was telling you guys about. I have no idea how long to use this for, but we're just gonna do it until I think it seems like it's good. How long do you froth it for? It's a good question, but as long as you want. I will pour my frothed milk onto here, except I'm realizing now the ratio is <laughs> very off, so we'll just have some extra. It looks absolutely beautiful. 
I don't know if it will taste beautiful, but we're gonna go with those a lot. Okay, let me show you guys. This is the final product. I could have been a little bit more artistic with the cinnamon, but overall, I think it looks very beautiful and I will do a taste test in a second. I thought we could sit down together and do a taste test. So let's see how it is. I'm scared that it's too hot. Luke tried it already and said it wasn't though, so if I burn my tongue on him. It's good. It's good. I think I actually did do the right amount of creamer. I was worried that I put too much creamer in and that it was gonna be too sweet. But I think now that I'm tasting the chai, it actually balances out very well. So I would probably give this like a seven out of 10. And I hope that we can only improve from here. Hello guys. We are finally out of the house and we are on our way to West Elm. We want to check out some nightstands that we've had our eyes on for a while now and I think it's time to finally buy them. So I wanna make sure we see them before we actually make the big purchase. So we're on our way now. I'm very excited. I hope they have them in the store. If not, it'll be a little bit disappointing but i guess any trip to west elm is a fun trip so we're headed there now i'll let you guys know if they are there but most likely we will be placing the order today so it's very exciting and i can't wait it was a successful west elm trip the nightstands have been acquired they should be here next week so that's exciting um and we just got some bubble tea and look at these containers they're like really legit it's glass i don't know who these people are if you do leave a comment below let me know i would love to know but um it tastes so good so we are gonna go downtown now and get some charcuterie stuff and just walk around pike place and see what's up it's a beautiful day which is rare I feel like these days so we're gonna take advantage of the Sun and just go walk around and that's all good morning guys it is now Wednesday and I have just been filming some reels this morning I'm trying to be on top of my reel game on Instagram so make sure you follow me on Instagram so you don't miss out on them um, but I just wanted to let you know what's going on today yesterday was the best birthday ever I am so lucky and I am so thankful for all of the amazing people in my life um, so it was a great day and today is one of those days that I feel like I just need to get my ish together so I need to go to the post office um, I need to go pick up a prescription I need to um, potentially go to Target and get a printer just because we have not had a printer for like ever since we moved in together and it's becoming quite a pain especially with like depop and then every time i have to ship a label or print a label i have to ask luke's parents to print it for me and it just becomes this whole hassle of like i have to get it printed and then i have to go get it and then it just takes me way longer than it should to get these packages out Anyways, that's my rant on the printer. I think I just talked myself into getting one. Um, but that's what's going on. I'm gonna take a shower now, get ready for the day, and then head out. I'll take you guys with me and see where we end up going. Hello guys. I thought we could do just a little bit of an afternoon chat. It is later in the day and I feel a little bit defeated right now, unfortunately. So I told you guys I wanted to get a printer and I went to Target and uh, they did not have one. The only ones they had left were upwards of like $300 like, and I was like, mm, nah, don't want to drop that money on a printer. So then I went to Best Buy because they're very close by and the same exact thing was happening there. And then I kind of thought about it and I was like, okay, it makes sense. We're all working from home now. I guess that is just like an absolute must in a work from home office. So I get it, but unfortunately I think I'm just gonna have to order one and hopefully I can find one on Amazon. I'm trying not to spend like more than a hundred dollars just because, um, 
also have to buy ink and everything and it's not like I need like a super fancy printer I literally just need it to like print shipping labels and documents or whatever here and there so I'll have to do some work or some some looking on Amazon to see if I can find anything but I wanted to just chat with you guys and share this water bottle that I got from Amazon and it is a 64 ounce water bottle and basically it just has like the time of day on it and then it has like a little motivational messages and i feel like i last week or the week before that actually i was kind of just like sitting at my desk and i was like i feel so dehydrated i know i do not drink enough water and i need to just start and usually i'll just keep like a cup of water at my desk and it's a fit effective but i like wouldn't refill it as often as i should and i just wasn't feeling good so I spur of the moment ordered this water bottle off Amazon and I'm so obsessed with it it is so first of all I think it's really cute but also it's very effective and this looks like a ton of water like in comparison to my head but it actually doesn't feel like that much water when you're drinking it throughout the day I will say it's more effective in my like nine to five work day when this is just like sitting on my desk next to me staring at me and i want like a little distraction from work um because this week i haven't been like carrying it around every single room with me and like taking it out with me just because that's like not practical but i'm still trying to keep to it and i know when i go back to work next week it will be like just as effective as it was before so if you are trying to motivate yourself to drink more water i highly recommend this um it's also just like a fun thing to have i think it was like 20 dollars on amazon which is not bad and just a great way to motivate you to drink some water um but that's all i wanted to share with you guys i actually want to give you guys a little bit of a quick apartment update the light is very beautiful in here right now and i did just clean the house so i am going to take you guys through the rooms in our house give you a little update i'm not going to go like super in depth just because i do want to do like an official apartment tour once everything has arrived but i do want to make sure you guys are in the loop and know what's going on in the place so let's go ahead and do that and i'll flip you guys over now all right so this is what you see when you first walk in we've got our little console set up finally it's so cute and the best part is just this little bowl from cb2 where we keep our keys and then when you come in this way you get a beautiful view of the living room and here's our couch still love the setup and then we finally got a rug this is from target and um, if you come over here i have some birthday flowers from luke this is my favorite candle right now it's the santa fe candle and you guys know i'm from santa fe and it smells so good and reminds me of home and then these are just some polaroids from the weekend um but just on top of this little chanel book and then uh yeah so we've got the corner the console okay those little wipes actually go in the drawer but if you guys have a glass coffee table i absolutely recommend these because they are just amazing and they're perfect for just like a quick little wipe down of the table got our little blanket basket my slippers and then you guys when we first moved in there was a mirror on this wall let me go back a little bit but I am waiting to get the Ikea Hobbit mirror because I think it will look really good here and it's bigger than the one we had before. I moved the other one to the second bedroom. And then here we have little Cece in his window bed. Say hello. And then this towel is here because there was a plant here that is no longer with us. And then we just have this cute little corner which I like to just sit and read in and just honestly relax. And yeah, here's an overview of the living room. And then this is my little office area. It's honestly kind of a mess. I need to get something to go here to organize this stuff. Um, but this is what it looks like. I've got my standing desk, so that's kind of fun. Um, and then here is the dining room coming together very nicely um, I still we still need a buffet to go here, but here it is so beautiful We love it. And then the kitchen is coming together as well. I Love the light in here so beautiful and then 
The newest addition is our beautiful Smeg, which we love. Fruit basket with no fruit. Just all the good stuff, you guys. And then I guess we will go to the second part of the house. which is here. The bedroom is coming together really nice. There's Luke's work set up. <laughs> the ring light is here actually because he used it for one of his interviews that he was doing and needed some good lighting. But the bedroom is, to com is coming together very nicely. Um, we still are waiting on the nightstands which you guys saw us order yesterday. And I think they're gonna look really good in here. Um, but here is that. And then bathroom, same as before. And then this is the spare room, which right now I'm kind of just using as like my filming room. But as you can see, it needs some work. My plan is to get a chair for this corner, obviously remove all this stuff, get a chair and a little table to go under the window. And then I'm not sure yet what we'll do with the mirror, but I do want to keep it in here. And then get like a bigger bed in here with some cute bedding, put some prints above and just make it a little bit more like homey and more uh, like a more useful room. Um, but yeah, hello. And then my closet, clothing rack and that's the latest and greatest. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little update. Obviously we still have a ways to go. But I feel like it's finally coming together and I love it so much. I'm so happy and I just feel so at home here. Good morning, guys. So we are on a walk. We just went to get some coffee at a place in Cap Hill and also shoot this little set that I got from um, a 10 tree. So make sure you follow me on Instagram so you see the shots but we're just walking around now I'm gonna walk to the post office but it's another beautiful day in Seattle so we are loving this warm weather guys it is an exciting day well wow I just noticed it started raining outside anyways it is an exciting day because I was doing my usual Facebook Marketplace peruse, as one does, and I discovered the perfect buffet. So, we are gonna go pick it up this afternoon, and now we will be picking it up in the rain, but I'm so excited, and I can't wait to show you guys. And next time you see me, there will be a beautiful buffet behind me, and I cannot wait to style it. I'm so excited. Um, so this is your reminder if you are on the hunt for a piece of furniture literally just check Facebook marketplace every single day and I promise good things will come your way the buffet is here and she is stunning um, I styled her very quickly so it's kind of a work in progress but I actually like how it came out um, I think it looks really cute it feels so nice to be able to have some storage and just clean up everything that was on the floors here um, but overall I think the kitchen looks fabulous um, or the dining room I should say but I am so obsessed and I love how it's coming together happy Friday good morning everyone or should I say good afternoon because it is 2 30 p.m. and it is Friday it is the last day of our week of vacation so now we just have the weekend to look forward to but today we are headed to get some donuts from General Porpoise which is a local Seattle donut shop and if you have not had them before or if you are ever in Seattle definitely check them out because they are the most delicious cream filled donuts and I am usually not even a cream filled donut girl I like just my regular round donut but these are so good um, and the vanilla ones especially are amazing so we're headed there now we did just call in advance to make sure they still had them um, and then we're just gonna hang out walk around I'm really excited for tonight because 
I have the best friends in the whole wide world and if you are watching this I love you so much but for my birthday they planned a virtual cocktail like happy hour kind of thing so we're doing like a little um, cocktail tutorial making set night with um, like a virtual bartending service so I'm really excited and we're all gonna get dressed up and it's gonna be so fun and we're making two cocktails tonight we got the stuff yesterday from Whole Foods and I'm just so excited so that's what I'm looking forward to and I will definitely let you know what I end up wearing and I will vlog the experience but I'm very excited that is that we are gonna go get some donuts now hello guys we are back home with beautiful Cece who is showing us that to the camera. Look at this beautiful buffet behind me. I love it so much. Um, we just got home a little bit ago. The donuts were acquired. General Corpus, you guys, absolutely stunning. Um, but I wanted to show you what we got from CB2. I think we literally have like a CB2 addiction which I'm not ashamed about. And I also got another little package from Aritzia. So I thought we could just sit down and do a little mini haul um, and show you what we got. Um, so up first, I got these um, paper candles. I've gotten these before and they're just really cute and nice. And we have like two separate um, like candle holders back there and then a joined one over in the living room. So these are just nice to have and I really like how they burn. So I got these. And then a very exciting purchase is these cocktail glasses. We got two of them and they're so beautiful and the plan is to put them over there with the beautiful bar set so i'll give you guys a little shot of that in a second after we set it all up but these are just so cute i love them i think they look very fun and they're not you're just like classic clear glass so a fine twist and then I've been feeling very uninspired by the coffee table recently. Not the actual coffee table itself, but the decor on the table. And I want to spice it up. So I got these two candles. Surprise, surprise. Um, and they just look like this. I got a tall one and a small one. Um, and they're black, so they don't actually have like CB2 on them. That's just the casing. But I thought these could be cute on the coffee table for styling. So I'm going to play around with it in a bit. But I just like the look of the all black. I feel like you don't see that very often. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to change it up. So hopefully that gives me the little spice up of the coffee table that I feel like I need. Um, and then let's open this baby up. I hope I can open it without scissors. This is a disaster. Basically, now that it is spring, I wanted to get a little black mini skirt just because I feel like that's such an essential and I don't own one. Um, so I got this one and I hope it fits. I've never tried it on and I got it in a six, so fingers crossed. But it's so cute. It's that classic like Wilfred material. And then it has just a little slit on the side, which is kind of fun, but obviously you're not too exposed. So this is really cute. I hope it fits. I think it's gonna look really cute with just a blazer um, or just like a cute little sweater or crappie or something along those lines. But I absolutely love it and I'm excited to wear it. And now we are just going to cross our fingers and hope that it fits. And then, one more thing before we go. I impulsively bought this top from Free People. It's a little yellow sweater vest. I've been looking at one on Zara, but I don't know why. I'm always so weird about buying things from like, or buying things online from Zara. I feel like I always like fill up my cart and then I never actually buy the stuff for some reason. I feel like Zara is just one of those like in-person websites 
Maybe it's just me. If you guys feel the same way, let me know. But I got this cute little floral vest and I saw it in the window on the mannequin and I walked by and I was like, mm, that is the perfect spring piece. And it was only $48, so I feel like that is pretty good. I was expecting it to be like, I don't know, 128, something random. But alas, here it is. It's really cute. It has beautiful flowers. Um embroidered in there and then just like um a cinching down here so i don't even know what this looks like on i just bought it without trying it on so this will be fun but i think it's just gonna be so fun to style for spring i think it's tight enough that i could wear it alone without anything underneath um, but would also look really great over like a white button up or a white t-shirt but yeah i love it and i think it's so cute and it's so soft and beautiful but that is that it's a very nice afternoon and I am now going to try to style this bar area behind me. So I will show you guys how it looks and hopefully we are successful. Okay, here is the bar setup. I don't love it, but it's a work in progress and I think it's very cute so far. I just can't get enough of these glasses. Um, and it obviously goes with the puzzle behind it in the frame that does not fit, lol. But it's so cute, and then obviously we have our little bar books as well. And then just the books I was talking about yesterday from West Elm. But I think overall it looks really cute. And I'm so excited! Cheers to the weekend, you guys! I wanted to show you guys the items. They obviously do not go together, so take that with a grain of salt. But I love... This top, I think it's so cute. At first I was a little confused as to where this was supposed to start and end, but I think it looks really cute and I love it a lot. It's very soft. And then here is the skirt. The six fits perfectly. It's so cute and it's not like too long that, or too short that it's like inappropriate to wear. So I am so excited and I can't wait to style these things. Not together and not with these white socks, but Loving it, loving the spring vibes. So I told you that we're having our virtual cocktail happy hour thing event, which I'm so excited about. Again, I have the best friends ever. When I found out about this present, you guys, I literally cried because I was just so happy and I feel like it just feels like it's been so long since I've been able to just like do something with my girlfriends and I just, I'm so happy, so. Here we are. I already have makeup on that I did this morning, but I wanted to freshen it up. And I thought I could just talk to you guys about what I'm doing to freshen it up. So for concealer, I have on the Rare Beauty one. Oop, I got a text. And I'm just going to freshen up the under eyes like a teeny tiny bit and just like areas that I had my mask on today. Oops, I'm gonna turn this off. Um, that my mask so kindly ruined. So we're just gonna pop that back under the eyes, blend it all out, then obviously on the tip of the nose where your mask absolutely touches, and then the Cupid's bow and my chin. So love that for me. And then I'm going to freshen up my bronzer. I did contour earlier, but I'm gonna go in with the Lila B, um, B Sunkissed Bronzed Beauty Bronzer Duo. Just looks like this. And we're just gonna mix it up and do a nice light layer for fun. And just blend it all out since my mask definitely got all up in there. Wow, this lighting really sucks. I wonder if it would help if I turn on. I don't know if that helped or just made it worse or just made me look orange. I think I liked it without. Maybe this light. Oh no, oh no. All right, we are gonna stick with the nice, let's see if I can change this light. Nice natural light. And then, what else do I wanna do? Maybe some blush. Swiper on. 
this is the merit blush you guys saw me talk about it in one of my merit videos i'm not putting on how much i usually would again just because i already have makeup on where's my little blending brush oh there it is in my merit video i talked about this brush and i didn't rank it as one of my favorite things and boy was i wrong because you guys i'm obsessed with this brush it's like honestly one of the best blending brushes i've ever used and it works well for blush it works well for cream bronzer it just works well for everything so i take back everything i said about this brush about it just being a brush it is an amazing fantastic wonderful beautiful blush or brush and then i think we need to re-highlight because i think i covered it up with concealer so we're gonna use this one this is also from lila b they sent me these products and i'm loving them so much this is Be Captivating Glisten Glow Skin Illuminator. It looks like this. And I like to just put it on my finger and then kind of dab it where I like to highlight. This is the one that I like for a more like bronzy kind of glow. Wow, this lighting is so bad. I'm really sorry, guys. Um, but this is what I like for a more bronzy glow. Um, it's not my usual like halo or like angel shimmery i don't even know what i'm saying let me show you the other one so you get what i'm talking about this is more your like true champagne highlight which usually i love and i still love but i'm feeling that bronzy look today um i don't think the brows need anything the eyelashes don't need anything but for lips i'm gonna go in with this um lip and cheek balm gel color from nude sticks this is from alana rama's alana davison's excuse me alana davison's collab with them i really love it it's the perfect nude and we're just putting her on the lips and then my favorite part is the gloss so I'm just going over with the clear Glossier lip gloss and giving it that final shimmer. Look at that, you guys. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do and then I'll spray my face with the Urban Decay Priming Herb makeup spray setting spray but i do want to put on some earrings i was gonna wear a necklace but i feel like with this top that's just a little too much so i want to do some statement earrings and i think i kind of want to go big and wear well i'm debating between two let me show you guys first of all first option are these gigantic madewell hoops which you guys have heard me talk about or i was thinking maybe these little chunky majory ones but i think for now i'm gonna do these and see how long my ears last and then if i need to i'll put on my smaller ones just to spare my ears but i feel like this is kind of fun and i don't remember the last time i had anywhere to wear these so we're just gonna roll with it Oh, hi CC. And then why can't I find the back? There we go. So this is the final look. I'm gonna show you guys, I think, in better lighting. What the final glow looks like with the makeup. I love it. <laughs> 